Hello and welcome back to part three of setting up our Pixet library, a gallery online. Sorry about that. Um, do hope that you all enjoyed the Christmas and New Year festive season and blessings to you all. I sure had a good time with my family and took a break from actually editing and photography just to share some special moments. But now back to our part three of Pixet. Um, part one and part two, we went over of setting up our gallery, setting up our albums, where we can share it to, what we allow. So today we're going to take at the process of actually emailing our client and say right now it's time to view your photos where they can come online like your photos and if you allow they can download the photos so that is what we are doing today so let's go and just open up Pixet. as you can see um, the albums have changed a bit um, my last photos I did of 2018 was the um, metric dance of the Subantu learners so let's click on this album and go to editing right right it's my internet's a bit slow today so just have some patience with me um, right as you as you can see I have made the albums highlights metric girls metric boys red carpets moments captured and add a set and um, highlights it's just the opening of the album and I put a few things in and then all the metric girls are put in one album all the as you can see and then the metric boys taking into account it is a slow load I do um, upload my pictures on a very high pixel quality so they can download and straight from the gallery and print their photos if anybody wants any more information on that just inbox me and I'll do a session on that as well um, and that that's the few albums I had um, for the matric dance a lovely set of learners an absolutely awesome evening that um, we had um, and yeah pass rate was very good for all of them but they were very very confident uh, students so I knew they would all get through back to here as you can say this part is all the here the the photos and our albums then we come to settings I'm just going to go over um, the settings again the collector settings I've given it a name an event the day it happened a collection all I published it I've given it tags and I've given an expiry date I have put my email registration on and my gallery assist the gallery assist helps your clients it, it guides them through it it's actually very nice and simple and really excellent to to have on but again it's choices what you choose um, you can also choose different languages but of course um, naturally we would keep it English okay I that was the very I've been over that before then the design I used this part where I chose how it will look on the desktop and a mobile when it loads Remember when you upload your picture and you choose your album cover, you must set the focal point, otherwise it will all be out of proportion. It may look nice on the mobile, but on the desktop it won't, or vice versa. So you're setting your focal point so it focuses on that. Um, on our privacy, I didn't do a password for this. Um, for the simple reason is that it was open to all the learners so they don't need a password to download any photos normally for clients I would um, put a password on but I'm not worried about this as this is an open album um, I turned this off because there's no exclusive access where the clients can mark their albums private they don't want anybody to see um, or there's some special moments you captured at a wedding 
when they were getting dressed, then that would be, you would give your client access to those areas. Download. I put my download status on. I turned my pin off so they can download immediately. I gave them the choices of high resolution and web size. I also allowed them to do single and I only did the single on high resolution. And I've also enabled email tracking so I could see who is downloading. It's just for my record. Favorites where they heart the picture. I've put it on and I've allowed them to put notes. <clears throat> I've also allowed them to have a um, preset favorite list if that's what they wanted because one email address will have probably about 50 photos one may only have two and then they can they've got them in their own albums sharing I allowed on sharing to Facebook and Twitter the store as you know I'm on a free version so I don't have the store so there we, there we go excuse that noise um that was a very big noise <laughs> but that was my whatsapp sorry i forgot to switch that off um i'll be back now just let okay so sorry about that that was just a whatsapp message but let's go back again so now we've shared all the settings the design the privacy the downloads the favorite the sharing and of course the store which i don't have and uh, we've uploaded our photos so now we just want to check what it is going to look like online so we come down here to our view button and um right here we are this is your um uh, in introduction and this is what i say it's very good to have because it actually helps your clients to look for certain buttons to download um, pick your favorites. It's it's very it's it's it really is I'd say a a, a walkthrough um, Thing to have for your clients then of course you go to your gallery now. This is what the gallery is going to look like that is um, The viewers of course we are um, viewing it as the owner um, You come down to the page. It's got your favorite your download your help and your share button you can share it via email this was on our highlights page and we can download it share it or love it I'm a trick girls and also too if you put your Facebook um, code in your accounts you can press the like button and they immediately like your page so that's also a um, a nice target to have because they really like your photos you get an extra like um so there like i say is is the albums all very nicely done so we're happy we've uploaded there's no more photos we are ready to send it off so let's just go back to here <clears throat> so once we've checked everything now we're ready to to send it this is when you press the share button And we come to our email side of Pixet. Now you can also choose your theme. You can have a night nice theme for your photos to send to the clowns. And that's what it will look like. Or the heart. Okay. All the blossoms so let's just choose the hearts it's I love the the heart now here you put your guest name the subjects are there and enter your message all right so you can make in this in this uh, section here your you can manage your templates and you can put your own wording in to send to your clients you can just add a new one you name the templates is I said your photos are ready um, you can say hi there great news your gallery is now ready to view and download your photos um, Thank you for your 
support kind regards shine okay now we put save and insert okay so now what you've put in there will actually go in here um, you can also add your expiry date this collection will be online until whatever date you put in there I put in the 31st and send yourself a copy so I'm going to send it to myself okay and send invite and it asks you are you ready to send yes and your invites are now being processed um, and that's that's what it is from here if you want to um, s share this whole album to social you can choose okay and it clicks into your Facebook and I can choose into um, my page and I can write something blah 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 please go and view the album and then you can just post it to your Facebook or you can post it to your clients wall it depends um, you can share to Twitter Pinterest and Google Plus or if you prefer you can just get the direct link and you can copy it and post it wherever you want to so that is that is very basically basic and simple sending your email to your clients to say it has arrived let's just check in my email so i can uh, go in the so open the email of course it depends how you got it and that is how it comes in your email and so now we're going to see everything in here it's got my um the link for the pick set my um email address and my website so now we want to view the photo so we the client just no when you're in a room. okay so this is what i wanted so once they get the click you've got to enter guest um, access into your email to view this collection you enter it and then you can see the album you can love this one um, you can add this as your favorite let's go and it will add everything into your album for your email address um, so we want to download this one you just enter your email let's go and it takes you to wherever you want to save it let's go into my pictures and then we're going to save it and then you can open it and there's your picture saved in print quality huge quality everything that's right for the client so that's very simple and very easy it is hard when you're first starting and you get confused but take it slowly because Pixel is very user friendly I love it um, I'm quite happy on the free one for those who um, do photography full-time maybe it's worthwhile purchasing it but for what you want for me what I do the free offers me just enough for my clients and I'm happy so I hope that has helped you setting up your Pixet gallery and um, yeah, anything else you're not sure about or have gone too fast, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, just inbox me or catch me on Facebook um, and, and I will help. Um, I'm going along and I do these as, as I work so I could have missed out something. If I did, I'm very sorry but I think I've covered it all. So yeah, on, on that note, thank you for watching. And have a great day and enjoy setting up your gallery 
and please don't forget to invite me. I'd love to see how you're doing on your galleries. Bye for now.